Hey, Sneak and Axe back tonight. Again, yes, I'm back again. Back again, yes. I'm back with Open Sousa 12.1. Oh, yes. Been a long time since I've done the Sousa. A long, 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 long time. Now, other people have done this about a month ago, but I was being really, really lazy, and I wasn't very well for a little while, was I? So, I just waited for the disc to come in one of the magazines I'll get. So, here we have Open Sousa. But not the latest and greatest GNOME 3.2, no. Not with the latest and greatest KDE 4.7, no. I've got it with XFCE. I'm going to show you how it looks with XFCE, because it's pretty cool still, and even quicker. So if your system is a couple of years old, but you want like a rock solid stability, and you're in a business environment, or you just want to try something different, other than Fedora, that's RPM based, Open Sousa is your baby. So, here we go, go, here we go, 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 go. Home, file system, and waste basket. Waste basket. Oh, don't start me on it. It's a rubbish bin. They've got to get that bit right if you're going to choose English language from the UK for your desktop. Okay, that's the main gripe I have of it. Okay. Down at the bottom, we have the exit bit. We have a time and date down there. We have our four workspaces. We have our sound. Yeah, sound and sound thing. The terminal down there. Nice little shortcut. And we have a Thunderbird for our mail client. Firefox, now this is Firefox 8 by the way because I've updated the system, it's all installed, bloody 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 blah blah. And of course, being XFCE, we will have Thunar for our file manager. Yes, very nice indeed. Now, to get the applications menu or the menu, even you can right click like so. And it decides to come up. There we go, get the usual XFCE stuff, and there's our application menu. Or, on the other hand, you could go down here and click here. Lovely. Now, when you're installing uh, OpenSUSE, you do get the option of what desktop environment you want. Now, you get GNOME 3.2, KD 4.7, XFCE, or LXD. Now, I do know there is an Enlightenment version out there somewhere, but it was just a homebrew one, but I can't remember where I see it. I think it was in SUSE Studio, actually. There's quite a lot in there. If you've never been over there, go over to SUSE Studio and check it out. Anyway, back to the menu. Accessories. All the usual stuff if you used to XFC, it's very nice indeed. Application file roller, GNOME calculator. Well, it's in there because, you know, GNOME's there, basically. Leaf pad, there's your text stuff here. Look, nice little leaf pad, nice. We also get under games, ah, oh, quite a lot of games. GNOME games and other stuffy games. You can add more, I will show you that in a little while. Now, I'm using the ButterFS file system here. Now, I've actually not noticed anything different personally, but you're not supposed to, are you? It's just supposed to be better and make your computing experience good. Cheese comes as standard, GIMP comes as standard, Restrato comes as standard, so does Shotwell and Simple Scan, so it's all there. Right, internet, get empathy, Firefox, as I just said to you, Remina, remote desktop client, Thunderbird and transmission, multimedia, we have the audio CD extractor, personally, I would put Asunderum personally myself. Zero G Mix Pit TV. I added just to see if it worked. Okay. Okay. So we'll open up Pit TV. This is their. Well, it's not their uh, video editor, but it's a video editor that's available in their repos. Now, as far as I'm aware, you cannot get Open Shot. Okay. You should be able to get Caden Live, but when I looked for the repos, it weren't there. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. So I'm not going to import anything, but their effects library is very similar to Open Shot, but it's not. If you know what I mean but it does actually convert stuff really good. So in the effects, you don't get so many effects, okay? You get the usual standard ones, but not too many others. Yeah, I know, there's a bit of a bum on it. Anyway, come out of that. Okay, still with multimedia, we get Rhythm Box as a standard music player. Thank you very much. It is still my favorite after all these years. I suppose I've just got used to it. I'm just not a fan of Banshee, and as far as I'm aware, in Ubuntu, the next version, Rhythm Box will be the default player again. Nice. You also get Totem, whoopie doo. Under Office, we get a dictionary and the full LibreOffice suite, all works nicely, nicely. Under System, bulk rename printing, you know, what you would expect basically. If I go into Task Manager, well, I'll open them up and see what we're doing. As you can see, the CPU's not doing too much really. It's a dual core here, by the way, I forgot to tell you, dual core, dual core, dual core. So that's okay. Yeah. Before I updated the system, by the way, just, just come to my mind, before I updated the system and all the updates, there was quite a few. It was using a lot of CPU, and the CPU was going up to like about 60% at certain times while I was doing nothing. But since I'm dating, everything has just settled down. So yeah, very nice indeed. Don't forget to do that then. Oh, by the way, if you're using the Task Manager, go to Quit and not the X, because if you click X, it will still stay open down here in your Tasky Bari thing down there. Okay, so we're going to quit and come out of there. 
Anyway, system, been there already. Settings, even better. Preferences, we get a settings manager. Now, if you use XFCE, you'll know what this is all about. Display, appearance, file manager, mixer, power manager, your panels, change all your panels and stuff. I'll show you another way around that. If you want to change your panel down there in XFCE, you right click, panel, panel preferences. Say I want to hide that, okay? So if I click that, click that box. As soon as I do that, it'll hide the panel. Then you get down there, hide the panel. Give you a bit more area. So if you've got a small screen or on a laptop, you may like it that way, okay? Or you may not, I don't know. Anyway, back to settings again. Preferences, you also get a Bluetooth manager. The HP toolbox comes as standard, so HP printer works straight away, no problem. QT settings, that's because of QT stuff. IST web control panel, okie dokie. Administration, right, here we go. This is the winner for OpenSUSE for me. When I first used OpenSUSE, which is years ago, I wasn't too impressed with it for some reason, maybe because I wasn't familiar with it. But Yast has come on leaps and bounds. Yast is their install remove software manager, basically. So we'll have a look. Break that open. Wants my root password, so I'll put that in. That's ten nine eight seven five four two one. And we wait five. Oh, see, that's pretty good. And it comes up okay. Look, it's all right. Lovely. Right now, in here there is lots and lots and lots of stuff for you to download. So if I go to the XFC desktop stuff. If you like SFCE, this would be a lovely for you. You can put the Thunar plugins for you. I mean, I, I normally do that, but as I'm not going to use this system on a full time thing. I'm just showing you what it is in XFCE. I thought I'd just show you this. You can get everything you want there. Like all the panel plugins, nice, super duper. And the documents, okay. All there, look, nicey, nicey. If I go down even more, go to multimedia. A better encoder is there. Audacity should be there. And you know what? I'm going to install it for you. You normally get the latest and greatest package too, okay? It's not an older one, normally, okay? Um, though I don't quote me on that. So do I apply? Yeah, I want that. I want Audacity, so we're going to install that. So we click Apply. Now, as you can see, it needs all these extra libs. But all you have to do is click Apply, and it'll get them all for you, like most of the other libs and RPM stuff, like in Fedora and that. So while that's doing that, I'm going to have a quick drinkage. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mmm. Mold apple. Very nice. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, it is Christmas, you know. So, whilst it's loading, what I'm going to say is if you're fed up with Debian, you're fed up with Buntu and stuff like that, you want to try something different, but you don't want to go down the Fedora route and you want something a bit more stable, but still slightly cutting edge. You know, got some right cutting edge stuff in there. Open Suda could be for you. Now, this time around, I found I've liked it quite a lot. No, I have. I've actually liked it quite a lot. And many moons ago, I've done a video, and I got really spammed for it, basically. They said, oh, you, you don't know Sousa, blah, 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 blah. But at the time, it just wasn't for me, to be really honest with you. It just wasn't for me, it was just doing what I wanted it to do. But now, I think you find all the main Linux distributions are coming together, and they're all pretty good, really. I mean, it's just up to personal preferences of what you want to use. Now, in theory, that should have installed. So I'll go that way, and over here, and Audacity is there, let's have a look, let's have a look, all we got, oh yeah baby, five, four, I had this before, oh yeah, there we go, no, this is the 1.3.13 beta, I've seen it before, so it's not the latest cutting edgy one, but it does the job, nice, do we get all our effects, no, because I've not actually put a track in, have I, no, but you do get 10 plugins, now bearing in mind, if you use Audacity, you'll want the extra 50 plugins. I'm not sure if that's in the repos, but if you can have to build it yourself, you just get the tarball and just make it yourself. Yes, easy to bleed and peasy. Okay, what else am I going to say about OpenSUSE 12.1? Well, it works, mate. It just works out of the box. Lovely. Yes, you will have to get some, some bobs to get other stuff working, but if you want a distro that's day to day it ain't going to fail you and go bang. It's going to work every day. OpenSUSE could be for you if you like RP RPM based distros. What more can I say? Well, what can I give it out of 100? Well, should I have a think about that? Well, no, I don't have to think about it. It's not perfect for me, okay? But it may be perfect for you. So I'm going to give it 95 out of 100. Sneaky Linux out. Oh, fuck it. 
that's only the XFCE version. I'm not too fond of the GNOME 3.2 personally. Hopefully the Butter FF stuff will be fine and it'll get all hunky dory and we'll be all right. Okay, I'm really going this time. Sneaky to the next set. I'll see you later, bye bye.